So we'll get you details of all those headlines, but uh, let's begin this broadcast with disturbing news that's still coming in from Andhra Pradesh, that huge fire that broke out at the Duwada Special Economic Complex in Vaisag in Andhra Pradesh. Now what we are being told is that the blaze erupted in the complex of a chemicals company last night and is still not under control. More than 40 fire tenders were rushed to the spot and units from the Navy have joined in the efforts as well. According to district authorities, of the 18 biodiesel and raw material tanks which are housed in this complex, at least 12 have caught fire and are still burning. The HRD Minister of Andhra Pradesh, the District Magistrate and the Commissioner of Police, they were all on site taking stock of the situation. Okay, let's get in, in fact, updates now from T.A. Sudhi, the editor South. Sudhi, take us through what is the situation on the ground? Does the situation still seem to be out of control? Not really out of control. They really will have to wait for the entire biochemical material which is there in, the, in each of the 12 tanks to get completely over before the fire can be put out. Uh, what we are told is that each of the 12 tanks had uh, biochemical material between 30 to 70 percent capacity of the total uh, volume that it can hold. So they are really waiting for that to get completely over before the fire can be put out. What they have done is to ensure that the fire does not spread to the other six units. So 12 out of the 18 units are the ones which are on fire. Uh, what is disturbing is that the total estimated loss at this point in time, according to the district authorities, is in the range of 120 crore rupees, which is huge. And this is one of the major uh, units at the uh, Special Economic Zone in Duwada, which is in the Shakapatnam district. Uh, as you mentioned, okay. about 40 fire engines 20 right. of them from the state government and another 20 from other units of the Navy and the Shakapatnam Steel Plant have so the, been in operation there to put out the fire, which has been raging for over 13 hours now. So they do stay with us. In fact, I'm joined on the phone line by Vizak's Police Commissioner, Mr. Amit Gar. Mr. Garg, you know, good morning and uh, appreciate you joining us on India Today. Uh, could you g give us a situation, really, you know, how much time perhaps or an estimate uh, that would be required to get the situation under control? How, would there be a need for more fire tenders to be rushed as well? Um, uh, no, the situation is not under control. I mean, when you compare it to the uh, situation in the yesterday night, it will take for the few hours to completely douse the fire, and we can't estimate how many hours. But uh, the best part of it is that the good coordinated work. In fact, we uh, so much of resources in the sense of wire engines, especially the foam. So we could be able to mobilize from various units, uh, the public sector and uh, private uh, chemical plants and all. We could be able to mobilize. So the situation when you compare the yesterday night and to, uh, to, uh, morning is much better. Uh, things are much under control. And, you, are, uh, you are like absolutely confident that the, the fire really is not yeah, spreading yeah. anymore. There is no chances of it no, spreading anymore no to the other chances. tanks. Yes. And so, you know, would you have any idea at the moment as to what really triggered off this fire? Not really, not really, not. It will be subject matter of investigation. It will be subject matter of investigation. And uh, so, you know, finally, we'll, uh, before we let you go, any estimate at this point in time of the kind of damages that we are looking at? Any casualties reported? Well, uh, 12 containers, uh, there are total 18 containers. The 12 containers uh, uh, got fired and uh, the fire team could able to prevent the, uh, not the, to spread in the six uh, containers. So the six containers were prevented. So the 12 containers is the capacity of uh, 3,000 metric tons each. And they were almost full. So this was a damage or the loss. And uh, fortunately, I mean, we say there was no human loss and casualty. Okay, many thanks. We appreciate you jo uh, joining us. In fact, Mr. Amit Garg, uh, the Commissioner of Police uh, for Wysak. Uh, T.S. Sudhir continues to be on the phone line with us. Uh, Sudhir, you know, a kind of fire of this scale, of this magnitude in a special economic zone, uh, that's a huge, huge setback. What is really the mood on the ground in a way? Well, yes, uh, definitely a huge setback given the fact that the Vishakapatnam special economic zone was considered one of the jewels as far as the industrial sector in Andhra Pradesh was concerned. So this is definitely a huge setback and raises very disturbing questions about the kind of fire safety mechanism that was in place. Yet, as the Commissioner of Police, Amitkar, pointed out that they were able to mobilize resources from different agencies, given the fact that the Navy is stationed in Vishakhapatnam, there are different public sector units from where resources could be mobilized to put out this fire. But yes, uh, they will have to do a complete uh, overall and check of the kind of fire safety mechanism that is in place to ensure that this kind of a huge mishap, because a, a, a damage in the, in the range of 120 crore rupees is not a small amount, so that will really have to be done on priority. After the fire is put out, an investigation is done as to what caused the fire.
Absolutely, there will be much uh, ground, in fact, stock taking as far as the physical and the economic damages after this fire are concerned. But let's just hope that the situation remains under control, as was being informed even by the police commissioner. Many thanks, uh, T.S. Sudhir, for getting us all those updates uh, from the fire that broke out in the Duwada economic complex in Wysak. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari has constituted a committee under the Transport Minister of Rajasthan, Yunus Khan and all state transport ministers to submit a report on a bill to make pair...